Okay guys, so I just got this bunch of uh, copper laminate sheets from eBay. They are double-sided and a very cheap price. I'm just going to try to make some uh, circuit board out of this using my 2018 CNC. And uh, for me, making it on one side is easy. Uh, the most difficult thing is just uh, when you do double-sided, when you flip over to this side, you have to find kind of like the exact reference so when you do all the kind of like hole drilling and all the part and the track have to be exactly the same place compared to the other side so I think I will need to design some type of base or feature whatever you call it uh, that would help me to find like a reference probably the zero on this corner or this corner so just let me just uh, try to make one of that on my computer and uh, show you uh, how it works. Okay guys, so here's the setup just I made to hold the copper laminate sheet. So it have this uh, bottom here, just have this edge. Just uh, I used to kind of make a reference to align it to the edge of the build platform. Uh, on the CNC so this way it will be consistent every time I want to like do another board so on top here I have this piece it's going to be glue on this uh, board and uh, this part will be milled out and uh, once I milled it with the flat end mill this part will be parallel to the Z axis and this edge will be parallel to the Y axis and this one to the X axis. So I would have the reference to find the zero for all the axes. Especially in this corner, uh, once I kind of like mute the bottom layer, cut it out and then flip it over and then I, will, I can find the zero around here to mute the top copper. So. Next step, just uh, I just going to show you how I going to mute this part out, and then uh, just uh, go on to the PCB milling part. Here in Fusion 360, I just going to import the part that I already saved in step file, only the top feature. So I just going to mute this part out. So first of all, I just go to the manufacturer and uh, go to create a setup so box point I always choose this one and stock I put it as zero and zero offset okay and I will click OK so now what I need to do is just go to 3D pocket clearing and uh, choose the tool I just going to use the 4 millimeter flat end mill And here, there's nothing to change. I just go here. Well, not much to change. Only additional offset two will be inside the boundary, and the additional offset I'm going to put minus four. Just the diameter of my tool, so we can cut like out here. So to make sure that it cut everything. Okay, go here, and I change it to two one so it's going to be safe when it's moved around and nothing here I uncheck this maximum rough thing step down I'm going to put 0.7 because I don't want to go too deep and um, to make sure that it's going to cut smooth so I just go 0.7 millimeter should be fine uh, yeah that's it tolerance I want to put a bit more like this full retraction now I going to push shortest path and that's it and I click OK ok so as you can see that uh, it cut like a bit extra out here so that's what I want and it do like three path uh, three layer so also that way it will be cutting smoother so that's it so I just going to do post process and then uh, pause and save it at uh, top PCB top feature
Okay, done. So now I just want to show you how I set it up, like glue everything together and mill this part out. Okay, so to make the fixture, I just made these three pieces, like the big one on the bottom, this one on top, and this one will be glued like this. So let me just glue them together using some uh, super glue. So I just take this piece. Just pour some glue a bit, a bit everywhere here. And just try to align the, it in the middle. You don't need to be precise. Just roughly. And press it together. It's super glue, so it set very quick. And then, then you just flip over, take the small piece, this piece, and uh, glue it. Just put some super glue here, just a little bit. Not, don't need too much. And then uh, kind of align it to the edge here. And press it down. Okay, so now this setup is ready to be milled. So I just going to fix this on this build platform. It's just like align this edge here to this edge. So every time you do it, you take this bore out and re put it in. It just align it to this edge. The same way so it will be consistent. And then I'm going to use this. Just glide it here. On both sides. Like this. Push this in and uh, fix it. Okay. So this way it doesn't move. It stays still. And it will be consistent every time. So now I just got to mill the top part of this out. And as you can see the reason just I leave this part out just to have this space so I can fix this with the like, bolt. Okay, to mill the top part, I just got to use the 4mm flat end mill. Okay, so I'm done milling this part. I, as you can see, just, I just cleaned up the surface a little bit and also the edge here. So it's going to be clean. Now, I just want to go on my computer and show you how to make the NC file for the PCB milling. Now we have the setup ready. Let's move on to the PCB milling part. The two software I will use is uh, EagleCat and uh, Flatcam. The reason is just they are free. Well, Ego is Poly free because uh, you wouldn't have some limitation because uh, they will limit you on the free version is the board size and the how many layer you can manage and uh, flat cam is totally free and I think it's very good um, for PCB milling so I just going to start with ego here that the software just you use to design your board so I just go to five open board and I just going to use one of the Example that I got from uh, Autodesk uh, Ego Cat website uh, because I haven't done really like any board designing for so long, so I just want to use the example. Here's the one just I think just I might use in the future, so I just want to use it to show you how I milled it out. And uh, here's the board one you like import it, 
and uh, what you need to do is just click on cam processor so this will export the files that you can uh, read in flat cam and uh, in here you click on top copper this will be the copper that you need to uh, mute and this is the bottom copper the profile these are uh, three files that you will need at gerbil and uh, this uh, you also need for the drill the hole to go through the two ports so for me what I need to do here is for bottom copper I will need to mirror it because uh, I will uh, have to flip the board when I mute it so I go to advance and mirror it horizontally and the profile I will cut out the profile uh, along with the copper bottom so I will also mirror it and same thing with auto drill I'm going to just mirror it and that's it I'm going to click on uh, process job and uh, well I choose the same folder here so select folder and now if you open the folder you will create a cam output folder and in here you have gerbil files and uh, drill files that's all you need so let's just move on to the flat cam part okay if you open flat cam for the first time just pay attention to the unit here if you use millimeter in on your CNC just make sure that this is millimeter and uh, the other way if you use inch this should be inch so to do this you just go to edit toggle units for me I just going to keep it as millimeter because I use millimeter on my machine so next step just click on open gerbil here the symbol here and go to the gerbil files and choose copper bottom copper top profile and click open so you can import the gerbil files and you can see here on this side I have the copper uh, bottom and the profile and this side I have the copper top and I'm going to import also the drill file so I click on open Exelon and go to drill files here that you have the hose here because I mirror it so it's on the side of the copper bottom and uh, of course you can see here that's uh, for the copper bottom the zero and zero point is on the lower right corner and for the top copper it's going to be on lower left corner so that's what you have to pay attention to when you mute this so let's just start with the copper top and copper bottom so let's start with copper top I just highlight it and click on select it and here two diameter for to cut the isolating or the trace and copper pad here I just going to use a V bit with a 0.1 millimeter tip like this and of course because of my CNC machine 3018 it's not really like sturdy and precise especially the spindle have some play so I'm not going to enter 0.1 millimeter even though my tool is 0.1 millimeter I'm going to put some like 0.2 so I have a lot of play here so make sure that it doesn't cut into the trace so I put 0.2 millimeter for the two diameter pass I'm not going to do multiple pass so I just do one so I don't really care about pass overlap if you do multiple pass to cut out more copper like for them in this port you can uh, put some overlap so make sure that is clean out all the coppers so now I just click on full geo so as you can see here you just create a kind of the two paths the outline on each part here so that's where the two going to go pass through so here in cut in Z because I, I just going to cut out the copper layer so I put very thin minus 0.06 uh, millimeter probably enough because uh, normally the copper uh, layer on the laminate sheet is about 0 0 0.4 0 0.04 millimeter I don't really need to do multiple depth so I can travel in Z I put two 
this is the distance from the surface to the tip of your toe so two millimeters should be safe enough feel red in x and y i just going to go very slow because uh the tip is very small and it might break very easily so i probably put about 80 millimeter and plunge rate i put 30 spindle speed i put 9000 and that's it i just click on generate so here as you can see just on the blue outline here that's uh the copper is just going to be cut out so it doesn't uh, mill all the copper like, on the surface it's only like cut around the, uh, the parts that you need to be isolated so this will be more efficient for milling and now i just click on save cnc code and uh, well, top copper that's it so now same thing for the copper bottom well this copper bottom there's a lot of thing here so i just want to make sure that the tool going to go everywhere to cut like isolate all the copper just needed to be cut so it look correct to me here so i just going to move on two millimeter here same and here i put 30 9000 and generate So here you can see just it's really cut correctly. So I just save CNC code. Okay, so now moving on to the drill. It's going to be different from the copper top and bottom because I'm going to use different tool. So you cannot really like do the drill with the V bit because the top part will be like big and the bottom part will be small. So you're going to have to use some end mill, like flat end mill tip. So I, in cut Z, I put point one millimeter because the copper laminate sheet just I got, I measure it with the caliper is about point eight millimeter thick. So this I put uh, two millimeter plunge rate. I always put thirty for this. We we'll go very slow. Spindle speed nine thousand. And uh, here you can click on create G code, but I don't like this one because uh, what it does just it go on top of each hole and it just goes straight down. So whatever hole it will make is will be exactly the size of your tool. So in my case, I going to use 0.5 millimeter tool. So the hole will be only 0.5 millimeter. So it's not going to be exactly as you design here. It's a big hole. So what I going to do is just I click on this mill drill geo so two diameter here i'm going to enter 0.5 millimeter just what i have and then uh, in cut z i'm going to put minus one uh, multi depth yes because i'm going to mill it so i'm going to go multiple layer multiple time so i'm going to put 0.1 i'm going to do 10 10 layers 10 times so i put z it's two travel in Z and this I'm going to put same thing 80 plunge rate uh, 30 spindle speed well I just go very slow as usual because uh, well you better save your tool than just break it in the middle uh, even it's slow but you are prototyping so time probably not really a matter here just go slow and make sure that your board will be milled out correctly so you click on generate okay so now as you can see here you have this part just a really dark color here just where the copper will be cut out so it's just mill out this hole same on every hole so now just save CNC code so I have the drill file okay move on to the next step is the profile 
the reason I'm going to use this profile not to like kind of have I don't need to isolate the choice here but what I use the profile for is just to make the reference to cut the board out of the sheet so uh, to do that I just click on select it click on cut out tool and here in cut out tool you need to make sure that this you will choose the object to profile okay and now two diameter I'm going to use the same tool just uh, I use for the drill I would use 0.5 millimeter margin so this part is very interesting because uh, here if I look closely here and you can see that the zero zero is like in the middle of the profile chase but if you cut like if you put margin is zero here what it does is going to cut like right on the edge of the trace here uh, and uh, the zero zero is still here so you have some distance to the edge of the board I want to make the zero like on the edge of the board just when I cut it out so I'm going to put actually minus uh, half of the thickness of this trace so if I zoom in it's about 0 0.125 millimeter so here I put minus 0.125 and gap size so this one I just going to make it one example I'm going to leave it positive for now to show you so I put one millimeter so now if I click on uh, generate uh, geo on rectangular so as you can see here the path is generated and you have four gaps on each side four gap on uh, the board and one on each side here here and here and here so it's like the tab you going to uh, hold this board to the copper sheet but uh, I don't really want this because I want to cut it like completely out so I don't need to clean up the tab like break it and then fire it to make sure that this is flat so what I can do is just I'm going to delete this one, the profile cut out, and I go to cut out two again, and what I'm going to do is just gap size. I put like minus the diameter of my tool, and then here you don't need to care anymore because you won't have any gap. So you put anything. So here you generate geo on rectangular again. So you can see here, there's no more gap. So you just go around and cut it out completely. So now I just highlight this and go to select it. And in cut Z, I'm going to put minus one. multi depth yes, definitely. I'm going to go 0.1 millimeter, very slow. Travel in Z, always two. Feed rate, 80. Plunge rate, 30 speed 9000 always the same so I click on generate so now if I zoom in here and you can see here I have the zero zero is right on the edge of the blue copper like this part will be cut out so on the blue line here so that's what I want so it will make it easier to find the edge on X and Y axis here so I just save CNC code and now I'm done with the profile cutout and uh, next step I just want to show you how I milled it downstairs okay so now I have this uh, setup ready I just want to fix this uh, sheet on it so I just want to use some double side tape like this so I just want to tape it a bit everywhere And uh, especially on this side, because when I flip it over, I want to cut out the board from here. So I'm going to put a lot of tape on this side. Around this corner. So make sure that the board doesn't fly away. And when you do this, you want to make sure that the tape doesn't overlap 
because uh, any kind of uh, overlapping will make the surface is not even so it will uh, make the cut is not really clean okay so now I just flip it over and uh, kind of align it here for this side you don't need to be exactly aligned because you just kind of like start milling so anywhere you can put the reference like zero zero around here don't need to be precise so make sure you press on the board evenly everywhere so we stick flatly on the setup okay so now I'm just going to use this 5 millimeter flat end mill to kind of do the drill and cut out the board first and then I switch to the V bit that's way when I flip over I don't need to change the tool again so I just going to do the drill and the profile cut out first okay next step I just going to prop the tip of the tool to the board so to do this I just going to clip this on the tool and just place this on top of the copper sheet okay so I just going to put the 0 0 on X and Y right here <laughs> Well, as you can see, that's a one of my two just already broke, so I just have to change the tool. So as you can see, just you have to go very slow. So let me try again. This might be just the bad bit. If it break again, then I would have to like kind of lower the step down and also the feet rate. Okay, so now the drill is done correctly. I just going to cut the profile. Okay, so now the profile is done. I'm just going to change the tool. Okay, so now this is the V bit that I'm going to use. It's going to have double edge. 
cutting edge and they on each side they cut out probably a quarter of the shank so it's still kind of like symmetrical and very solid just don't buy this type like they cut out half of the shank here and the tip is very fragile you're going to break the moment you touch the PCB and I don't like this one and uh, I think you can also use the pyramid bit you have three cutting edge but for now I use this one it's uh, cut finely so I just going to put it in so I just want to make sure just I have the enough part of the shank just stuck out because I'm going to prop on the part of the shank not the tip here okay so now I just need to prop the tip to the surface here uh, so let me just move it over and prop it just make sure you touch inside the board because now it's isolated from the sheet so we have to touch it like inside here okay so now copper bottom layer Okay, so now the copper bottom is cut. Let me just try to clean it up to see what it looks like. Okay, I'm just going to use some uh, fine sandpaper, kind of clean up the surface a little bit. But there's some copper is still stick on. The reason is just it doesn't cut really like smoothly. Uh, one part just the spindle and the machine kind of shaky. So it adds on some play, so it doesn't cut really like real smooth. Okay, so the good news is just uh, the copper seems to be cut all the way through. So the trace uh, isolated from the ground. And uh, there's some part here, just where the, the pad and the hose have very little space. So the copper is kind of completely gone around the pad. But it's still very usable because the tree is still there. So you can still put some time and solder it to the trees. Uh, if you design it yourself, uh, my advice is just uh, put the, some like, kind of the bigger pad so you have more space for the copper here. Uh, and so it's going to mill out more correctly. But all the other parts where the tree is big, it's good. Uh, you can see clearly here it's mill out very correctly okay so next step I just going to take this out take the board out flip it over here and uh, mill the copper top okay so now I just have to peel this off I peel the tip off before I put on the tape on this side and stick it here I just going to use this two edge to prop the two on the X and Y uh, on this uh, corner and then uh, I'm going to prop it, uh, the Z axis on this and mill up the copper top so let's just do this 
this uh, will be exactly as I showed you last time. I'm going to use this side here to prop the shank of this tool. Okay, you turn it to the side just you can actually touch the shank to the side of the aluminum bowl the piece and you push this a bit on this side a bit more okay so now I'm going to press this side like against the edge here make sure that it's aligned to the edge okay like this then I'm going to put G 38.2 well, first of all, I'm going to put in G91 and G38.2 uh, H minus 12 F24 and make sure that you still pressing it. Okay, and now it's for this uh, offset, I have this piece, this side is 1.6 millimeter. The tool is uh, 3.175 millimeter. So you will divide it by two. So let me just calculate it. So I have 3.175 divided by two plus 1.6. It will be 3.1875. So I just want to set the offset is 3.1875. So I put G92 X 3.1875. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on the Y axis. I just move it out and prop it like this. Now you cannot really see it here because it's covered by the plate. But uh, yeah, you you know how to do it. So I just going to do the same. Okay. So now I just take this out. And uh, we'll move it away, move it up, and tape this on. So just make sure that you have this side when you mute like this, you want to flip like this. So don't uh, mess up like the top and bottom. And make sure that you don't tape like outside this edge. You can tape, have extra tape on this side, but not this side. Because you want to align this corner to this edge. Okay, like this. So now what you try to do is just press this on both of the edge. Make sure that it's aligned. Okay, and press it down very firmly. Make sure that it stick equally on the surface. Okay, so now what I want to do is just, I want to check if it, the zero is good. So I'm going to lower it a little bit and uh, visually I can check the zero. So I type G90 and then Go down. Okay, so I'm going to put G1 X0 and G1 Y0. 
and I'm going to lower it a little bit. So visually, it I think just because the way I aligned it to the edge here yeah, is kind of correct, but on the x axis it seems to on both axes it's kind of like shift just a little bit for the hundred micron or so. I don't know. Uh, on my eyes, it's not that good. I'm just going to move it like very little. Hundred micro to the right, and check again to make sure that the tip is right at the corner of the board. So you can do some fine adjustment here. Okay, so now I saw that the tip of the tool is right on top of the corner. So I just going to set it at zero. For X and Y. And next step I just going to mute the copper top. So I just open, load the copper top. And send. Okay, so now uh, after cleaning up, look at it closely. I can see that also the copper is will cut all the way through, and all the patches are at the right place. It surround the hole, almost like the holes are in the middle of the patch. So it will mute correctly. So when I flip it over, the position of zero, zero, and zero were correctly found. So it mute really nicely. Except that for the small pad, the copper is completely gone. So you might need better machine uh, or better spindle, make it more precise, less vibration. So this will be cut more smoothly. Or if you can design the board yourself, make sure that all the pad here are big enough, a lot bigger compared to the hole. So you still have copper surrounded. Otherwise, I think this is good to I, I can use it. Uh, so. Hopefully you can use this process to mill out your board too.